Okay, today I'm going to show you how to fix your um, HP Pavilion DV6 7000 series. Um, so if you have a broken screen, like my old one was, I've already changed it. Um, it's a giant crack in the middle, but I'm still going to show you how to uninstall this one. So if you have an HP, mine is a um, DV6 7000 Select series, but it should work for any DV6 Pavilion from, H, um, from HP. So the first step you need, you need to go get your tools. Um, the most important tool you're going to need is like a straight razor, um, something really thin like this, or you can even get one like this. The other thing you need, the other tool you're going to need is a Phillips, um, like for computer screws. That's really tiny, really small, so you might have to go get one special from wherever they sell it near you. Um, one other thing I used that was helpful is going to be some pliers to get some grips on things. Also maybe a flat head, um, and you'll see what that's used for. So first step in the process, um, make sure it's unplugged. So we're going to go out, we're going to take out the battery, so you're not going to let you do yourself. Okay, so battery is gone, it's unplugged, you can even press the power button and make sure all the power is gone. Okay, so this is the hardest and first step in the process. If you look on the screen, you see a, a gray and a black layer. This is actually the frame that covers the screen. This is what the screen looks like and this is just an aesthetic plastic part that you're gonna have to take off. So before we go, you're gonna have to know there are four hidden screws you're gonna have to take out under this grill, which actually will come off. And the hardest part is gonna be removing the black plastic piece from the gray piece you can see you can actually get between it and it's connected by tens of um, clips all around it that are going to be really difficult so before you get started um, start from the corners work your way around and then try to take it apart and realize you have to be firm with it and you have to pull hard if you do it really lightly um, it's not going to work you're going to hear a bunch of cracks and loud noises that's good um, you're gonna, you want to hear those pops because that's just the clips disconnecting. And if you're not doing it hard enough, you won't get enough. So do it hard, firm, but be safe not to um, miss and, and hit any other parts. So what I did, you're going to get your straight edge. You're going to try to get, you need to get between the black and the gray layer. And you're going to slowly get it in there. And this will be really difficult for you the first time. My, most of my clips are actually out right now. And you're going to have to work your way around pop in those clips out and you'll start hearing pops and this is basically what you're going to do all the way around the computer. This took me about 15 minutes the first time so you'll work around. One thing that might help you the first time is to get like one of these smaller flatheads and stick it in between so the clips are not re-engaging while you're doing it. So that way my clips can't come back on. So here you go, you're working your way around you're going to do this all from top the sides. Like I said, it'll be really difficult the first time, and you got to be firm, um, and you can use your hand to pull it out. So you hear loud, some loud pops there, and as you can see, as I get further along, you can see all the places where the clips are, and these are just going to come in. So once you have the top part disconnected, the next thing you're going to want to do is work on the bottom part. This is the most difficult part. So one thing you should realize is there's also rubber cement around the whole computer. Um, so this is the part you have to be kind of tricky, be delicate, but it's actually really needed. You're going to have to take your straight edge and go between the screen and the laptop and separate that rubber cement adhesion layer. So you can kind of hear it. it's still really sticky and I've already done this about five times. So the rubber cement is going to stay there all around the screen so you want to go and break that bond before you do anything. You also need to remember there's also going to be screws holding this on, so you're not going to be able to get the whole thing off yet. Once you have that rubber cement around the, the whole computer gone, and the clips on the top part done, you're going to have to turn your computer around, and you're going to go through the same step right here, because you won't be able to get to this part, um, the bottom part. This is going to be the most tricky part. You're going to want to stick your straight edge between the bottom plastic part and pop out the screws on the bottom. And this will help you disengage it when you get the clips out. 
And once all these clips are disengaged, you pretty much have the hardest part done. Next part is the trickiest part if you don't watch the tutorials, because you're not going to know this is there, because you're going to want to just pull it off now. But you don't realize this grill you have, this speaker grill, actually is just plastic vinyl. It's like tape. So what you're going to do now is you're going to want to get your straight edge very carefully because you're going to reuse it. Stick it between that plastic vinyl and your computer and start peeling it back. And what you're going to find is that it's just tape. So you're going to want to peel it back and you're going to find two hidden screws. One here and one's going to be right here. So with your Phillips, you're just going to take that screw out and mine's already out so I'll take it and make sure you have a place to set it um, and you make sure you're marking where your screws are what I did I actually color coded them and stuck them on a piece of tape so I knew which screws went where because you don't want to be mixing up screws with losing screws next thing I did is the tape's pretty hard so I got these tweezers you don't need to use them but it gives you a better grip so you don't rip this you can slowly peel this off and stop right about where you see the next hole there's going to be another screw there. So take this one out. Once you have that one, put it where you're collecting your screws and diagram which screw goes where. So I said I color coded them so I know where my screws are going to go back. Same thing with the other side. I already had this side started. You're going to take your straight edge, stick it between that vinyl layer, plastic, peel it up, grab your flyer or use your hand, get a good grip, slowly peel it back and you're going to reveal two more screws that need to be taken out before you can get the frame out. One there, and one back on the other side. Okay, now once you have all those screws removed, you remove them, you're ready to take the face off. So what you're going to do is basically just pry it, and um, these hinges are actually a part of the top piece. So you can pull those off with it. You're going to probably have to get rid of some more clips, and that rubber cement is going to be really stiff. So it's going to sound like really bad and crunchy, but it's not that bad. There, you have it taken off. That is the hardest part. So now what you're going to do is you're going to need to take out the screen. So you're going to have four screws you need to remove at all the corners of the screen. So you're going to use your Phillips and you're going to go through and take out these screws. two of mine in right now, so it's, like I said, mine's going to be a little bit faster. It takes a lot longer the first time you do this. And like I said, I dropped one, it's not good. So I can still see where it is, so you need to make sure you know where all your screws are. So do the same thing, right here, and right here. Great, once you have those four screws removed, you're going to be ready to take this, um, your broken screen out. And what you're going to do is prop it forward towards you really gently and you're going to notice it's sticking right here because there is a wire go back there is a wire that's holding it on it is held on by just adhesion or glue on this side so you're going to peel that back don't pull on the wire just be gentle with it and you're going to bring your screen down and you're going to see that it is, there's only one more place it's connected is at this very bottom so this is the most important part that you don't want to mess up because this will ruin your screen. You cannot just pull this piece out. As you see, there's a tape piece on the back and there's a gold hinge. You're going to have to take this gold hinge and pull it back. So what you're going to do is start at the tape. So take that piece of tape up and just bring it all the way back. And you're going to notice there's a hinge there. Keep pulling. And that's going to unlock the wire part to pop out and it's just stuck on over here with glue. Don't pull on this wire piece because you don't want to replace that. That's important because that's your screen connection. If you break that, you'll have to get a new one. After you have the screen disconnected, you're actually done and you can take your old screen out and put your new screen in. So say this is my new screen. That's actually it. Now you just go back and do the same thing. Just redo all the steps you just did in backwards order. So. The most important thing on redoing it is to make sure this connection doesn't have gold prongs showing. You want to make sure the gold is touching the, the gold and it's all the way plugged in or else your screen is not going to get the, the data it needs. So push it all the way in, make sure there's no gap. 
while making sure not to break the wire, don't tug on it, and put the tape and that hinge back down. When you get the hinge and the tape back down, you're going to be ready. Just make sure uh, everything's situated. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff right here. That's why you have to make sure you're careful when you're using your straight edge so you don't cut into any speaker wires. So be very careful when you're using um, when you're cutting. The next thing, you're just going to put prop the screen back up. It'll actually just go right back into place. Um, it should just prop in there. And you're going to reinstall those four screws. Wait, one step actually. And when you go to laptopscreen.com, it's actually going to come with a protective layer. Um, you need to take that off because if you don't, you're going to think there's dead pixels right here and it's actually just a logo. So make sure you take the, the um, laptop protective layer off and once you have these screws installed, the next step I would say is actually to turn on the computer, put it back in the power to make sure it's connected right so you're not putting the screen on, the screen cover on and having to take it off again. So, once you have your screws in place, let me do that real fast. I said I had one drop, so let me put that one back. There it goes. This is just a speaker wire. Right back up. Okay. So you're going to reinstall your four screws at the corners. For time's sake, I'm going to act like I did that. And what I would do now is connect it to your power source. Put your battery pack in and your um, or or your, your power source in there to make sure the screen is working. Because you don't want to have to redo all this in a minute if it's not actually plugged in right. So I'm going to shut my screen real fast. Be gentle with not to break it. Okay. And like I said, you're going to be very careful. I'm trying to go fast just due to time. Okay. So, once you have your battery in and your power back on, you can tell, you can actually, um, Plug it in. I'm not going to do it now because I can't get it with one hand. Um, you're going to just put your um, screen cover back on. And you, my screen works. I already tried it. So your screen should light up now. And then from there, you can go put your cover back on, which is actually pretty simple. You just stick it on, pop it in place. And remember, to put the two screws on either side back in place. We want to make sure that you have the speaker that was there um, as you see, mine's not there. You want to line it up because it's going to hold the speaker in place too. And just pop the clips back in. And then next thing you want to do is just get some rubber cement or some glue. Put a thin layer on because you're going to want to put the, the grill cover back on because that'll look really bad if it doesn't. So put the grill cover back on. And once you make sure all the clips are back installed, now I can actually put my battery on safely, so I'll show you that the screen works. <laughs> so you got your screen, got your battery, and while I get your brand new screen, it should work pretty well. Um, I'll, let, I'll leave it a second. See the blue, a good picture. Well, so that's your new screen, and you got that from laptop screen. So this is my uh, replacement screen. Looks great, no problems. It's pretty perfect, and that's all you need to do. So just make sure you don't. You're really safe when you're cutting with the straight edge, and you keep track of those screws. And other than that, realize that the the top part of this computer is gonna be really difficult to get off. It might take you 15 to 20 minutes. Just be slow and be firm with it just for you don't break it. And like I said, this is my HP PB DV6, I think 7000 series, so it should work for many other of the DV6 series. That's it.